I agree, like now Melita, and this is my channel, The Midnight Librarian. Today I will be talking about my April 2021 TBR. It's still like mid-March, I'm actually filming this pretty early on, but this is my distraction from work because <laughs> I really just don't want to. I have been in a mood. It's mid-March right now and already I have put, tried to pick up books from my March TBR, put them aside because I just wasn't feeling them and haven't really been sticking to my TBR. And ultimately that's fine. Like I knew that it was going to be challenging from time to time because I am ultimately a mood reader. Sometimes just easier to just kind of go with what my, my, I think I want to do. So it's, I picked up a couple of books in March so far that weren't on my TBR at all and I've enjoyed them and that's fine. So if that happens for April, so be it. But I still do want a, a TBR. So for April, the uh, Buzzwordathon theme is uh, space. So anything to do with outer space. If you don't know, if you haven't, if this, if you're new here, if you're new to BookTube, <laughs> or if you're just new to my channel, first off, hi, welcome. Buzzwordathon is a Goodreads group, Discord group that was created by Kayla from Books and Lala. It was original, originally a readathon, and she's turned it over to a group so that each month there is a theme or a word or a phrase that that is in the title of books and your the whole point is to find those themes phrases or titles in on the cover of the of the book some people are doing it in terms of like reading it the first week um there's a couple buddy reads going on that fit the themes and other people like myself are just kind of using it as a good challenge to read some of our backlist books. So I have three books picked out that ultimately I found that I had a lot of books that had stars in the title. So that could have easily been more than three. Um, but I think I'm just going to stick to three and if there is more I want to pick up then great. I have a book that's been on my backlist for a while, a book that I've obtained within the last year, and a book that I've obtained recently. Mostly because something that I found in March is that I want to read my backlist books, however I still want to read the new books that I obtain. And that's what tends to be my problem is that once I, I, I get them I do want to pick them up and read them within the first couple months of getting them. Otherwise they just kind of get put on the backlist and I don't know when I'm going to pick them up and then like my excitement for them kind of just dies down. And picking up these older books, it's been great, but there's been occasions where it's like I just want to read some of my newer books. So that's what I'm kind of offering myself. I did this for my Tome Topple Readathon TBR. <laughs> Not that it worked out, but I like the idea of it, so I'm going to try to apply that here. So for planetary theme, we have for the book a book that's been on my TBR the longest. I have The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I've heard that Becky Chambers is actually from around here. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I have a couple friends that absolutely love Becky Chambers' series. They enjoy Becky Chambers and they were saying that um, Becky Chambers from, was from around here but I haven't looked into it yet. It's the first in the Wayfarer series. It's I think the fifth book just came out this year something I'm not too sure what it's about so far I've been able to like avoid spoilers for this all I am aware of is that this is kind of a slow or character driven book that's all I'm aware of that's all I really want to know I've had this for a couple years now and I've been wanting to get into it and this seems like the perfect opportunity the next book I actually obtained last year and it's um, Emma Donahue's new release and that is The Pool of Stars. I absolutely enjoyed The Wonder which surprised me because that's also kind of a slower book and I wasn't expecting to like it but I ultimately really enjoyed it. This is the UK edition um, which I absolutely adore. I believe it's about three women in 1918 Dublin. Um, one's a nurse. I believe one is a midwife and the other is about to give birth and they're quarantining together because of a 
influenza. I believe that would seem about right in terms of timeline, 1918. So I'm not entirely sure. I think they're like learning about themselves. I, this is, <laughs> I'll link all the descriptions of the books down in the description down below just because I know that I am terrible at trying to summarize them for you. I also know that like before I read them I don't tend to know entirely about the summary nor do I really want to so if you want to look more into it they're in, <laughs> in the description down below. Um, but yeah, I, that's one I've been wanting to get to for a bit now. And the next one I actually had on my um, I have it currently on my Tome Topple TBR. It is currently the week of Tome Topple. I don't expect to get it done just because nothing was particularly interesting to me during this week. So I'm putting it on my April TBR just to see if I'll get into it then. And that is Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. I don't know exactly what this is about, but if you haven't seen my uh, Tome Topple TBR, Basically, I was inspired by Erin from Erin's library on Instagram. She had posted it into in her stories on Instagram that her and her sister had planned on reading through the Star Wars books. And when I inquired further, she sent me this link to a website that chronologically has has the book all the books that in the Star Wars universe chronologically listed on a timeline and even has reference to like if you're just getting into it what five books you should read first and this is the first of those five books. I have the second one as well. I hope to eventually collect them. I am not um, going to make this a personal challenge for the year but probably just throughout depending on how I enjoy these first two, so it's something that I've been wanting to get into. Um, the website is really useful. I forgot to link it in my Tome Topple TBR. I'll edit that now, and as well as link it in the description down below here if you want to know further, if you want to explore the Star Wars universe further through the books. Speaking of Erin, Erin from Erin's Library and Danny from Thunderbird Woman Reads have a book club on Instagram is called Erin and Danny's Book Club, where current their challenge for 2021 is reading indigenous memoirs. There's been a couple that I've been interested in this year so far, um, but just wasn't able to get my hands on them quick enough. There was one for March. It was Tao of uh, a Raven by Ernstine Hayes, and I just didn't know if I was supposed to read Blonde Indian first or not. If anyone's read both of them, um, let me know if like, I can read them out of order or if I should be going in publication order. There's like a need for me to want to read it in publication order, but I don't have Blonde Indian, so yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know that getting Tower of Raven, so we'll see. But for April, the book is in My Own Moccasins by Helen Knott. This is a memoir of resilience and I love this little like, I love the size of this. This is so unique. Um, I also am enjoying the pink with yellow covers, but this, again, don't know much about this. Um, I know that the this one explores some heavy topics. It's quoted by Eden Robbins, Robinson, who is the author of the Trickster series. So, but yeah, this is their pick for for April and I hope to get to it. For my ARCs, I don't necessarily have anything pertinent to be reading in April, though I do. There is one that I was able to get through Read Now that is Stanley Duncan's Robot. Uh, this I love this cover by David Ring III. This has come out already. Um, it came out February 8th of 2021. This is a slow paced science fiction fantasy novel and from what I understand it's kind of it's set in the future of I believe 2030 civil war has gone on um, there's basically been this fight against artificial intelligence our main character who's kind of going kind of going insane from self-isolation 
um, and he doesn't want to be alone anymore. Getting a hold of a cyborg and ends up creating an AI that surpasses human intelligence ends up bringing the Civil War to his front door. So this seemed really entertaining and like I was a little, I just, just something, I don't know, just something interesting that I thought would be an interesting read. Along with the books that I just showed you, I have a small stack of other books that I would like to get to as well. The first is one that I think fits the outer space theme. In terms of the cover design, I'm really liking it and for some reason I'm really gravitating towards pink right now. I've seen this one a lot on Instagram and just I'm feeling a little FOMO. So, <laughs> and that is In the Quick by Kate Hope Day. It sounds like a mystery. It's, um, not quite a, like maybe a thriller. It also says that there's a love story in here, which I'm kind of hoping is more of a side plot than it is um, the actual thing. But I absolutely love this like powder pink cover and the spine. Like I'm absolutely enjoying this. I also have a couple library books, and the first one is *The Marothies* by Sherry Demoline. In late 2020, I had wanted to read her other book that had recently come out, um, Empire of Wild, and just wasn't able to get to it. Still hoping to get to it. I'm also hoping to get to this one. And this one, I believe, is more of a dy uh, also a dystopian novel where, where basically society is sick with something. I think it's um, infertility. And they find out that the cure or the... the um, way to be able to help this is through the marrow of indigenous peoples um so they're kind of hunted down and which is a scary frightening thought but i hear this is good i also have dreaming in indian um contemporary native american voices edited by lisa charlie boy and mary beth leatherdale they also edited um one that i had read last year for my oh read athon and that was hashtag not your princess which was contemporary voices by indigenous women i guess i've checked this out before um i was the last one to check this out and i don't remember doing so nor do i remember actually reading this so i think it was one of those things that i feel like i was in school and i thought this was more of a graphic novel and i think i checked it out because I thought I could use it as reference for my art classes. Um, from what I understand from um, hashtag not your princess this book is somewhat similar in that it has a collection of poems, short stories, photography, and art from a variety of different people. Two nonfiction books that I'm interested in for the month of April is something that I've been interested in. Um, one of them, the first one, actually fits the theme for just spring in general as it starts getting warmer and our pollinators are starting to come out and that is our native bees, uh, North America's Endangered Pollinators and the Fight to Save Them by Paige Embry. Uh, that's one thing too is that I feel like the title of it says it all. So this is, it looks really short but this is hefty. Um, it's heavier than I expected it to be and yeah, from what I understand, this is about our local bees, which I've always been fascinated by. Um, I have a little honeybee on my wrist there. And the other is, what would Frida do? This is how, A Guide to Living Boldly by Ariana Davis. This is one of the book of the month books that I picked for... Oh, they don't put the thing on anymore. I think this was a, a add-on book, so it wasn't necessarily like part of the original five so I think that's why I don't see the month but I picked it out I think a couple of months ago I've been curious about it um uh, I enjoy a lot of Frida Kahlo Kahlo's work I don't know much about her life but was uh not really something I learned about in art history like we went over it very briefly but it wasn't extensive and Tem temporary guide to life love happiness inspired by the extraordinary artist of Frida Kahlo so yeah it should be fairly interesting and like again pink and yellow covers <laughs> so there you have it those are the books that I would like to get to in the month of April will I get to them all I highly highly doubt it 
Will I pick up others that weren't on this at all? Most likely, probably. That sounds about right. <laughs> So yeah, if you've read any of these, let me know what your thoughts were down in the description down below. Um, no spoilers, please. Otherwise, what do you plan on reading for the month of April? If you're new here, like I said, welcome. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet already, be sure to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you know the next time I post more content. And check out... If you want any more details about any of these books, I have the descriptions down below. I also have raise awareness links for MMIWG2S, which is Murdered Missing Indigenous Women, Girls, and Two-Spirit People, at, um, as well as Turnout, which is an LGBTQ organization down in the Bay Area of California that helps LGBTQ community social media links if you want to find me on any other platform to chat about books or whatever. Yeah, art. And I will see you in my next video. Cheers.